welcome back to my channel, Raina Shine. Last autumn, we spent 10 days exploring one of the most amazing places on Earth, the Italian Alps, also known as the Dolomites. In our past videos, we shared our wonderful experiences in the charming town of Castel Rotto, the idyllic Alpe di Siusi, the unique Seceda Mountain, and the serene Val di Funes. In this episode, we'll show you one of the most famous lakes in the Dolomites, Lago di Braes, and other epic locations in South Tyrol, including Paso Giao, a mountain pass that left me speechless. Thanks for joining us in another adventure! From Val di Funes, we headed to our next destination, the well-known Lago di Braes. We checked in at our hotel before heading to the lake and meeting our Italian friends Massimo and Giulia. We chose to stay in this hotel because it is very near the Lago di Braes. You can actually walk from the hotel to the lake, but we opted to use our rental car because I was still tired from the trekkings that we did in the previous days. Due to the increase of the lake's fame, they have limited the parking access during high season. Please check the latest official information and prices for the parking before visiting Braes. I have to say that Brias is really spectacular. The lake is surrounded by dense forest and the majestic Croda del Beco mountain stands over it. There's an easy loop trail around the lake with lovely views. But if you don't want to walk, you can also rent a rowing boat. First, we thought the price was a little expensive, but in the end, we both enjoyed the experience. It felt very romantic to row on the turquoise water with the mountains reflected on it, and I was reminded of the song Moon River. For dinner, Massimo chose a family-owned local restaurant in Dobiaco. The building itself is a few centuries old. The foods were all fantastic and satisfied our cravings for Italian cuisine. Massimo treated us with a tasty bottle of wine again. China always takes the opportunity to shoot sunrise if the weather permits. While I was still sleeping cozily in our hotel, despite the freezing cold, he woke up early to take some videos and photos in the Lago di Dobiaco.
tonight. So next year. After breakfast, we returned to Dobiaco town to buy some delicacies and then we kept driving to our next destination. Cosa è quello Massimo? Cosa abbiamo preso? Abbiamo acquistato un pane tipico locale su tirolese chiamato brezze. È morbido in questo caso, può essere anche secco. Eh, questo è senza sale, ci può essere quello con l'aggiunta di sale o di cumino o di finocchi. Questo è semplice, è pane morbido. Per Ren allora? Ah? Sfoglio? Ah sì, grazie. The nearby Lago di Landro is also a stunning mountain lake. It offers a unique view over the imposing Monte Cristallo. Besides Braes and Dobiaco, Landro is among the three largest natural lakes in the upper Val Posteria. There are various mountain hikes around Landro, however, we didn't have much time to walk around. After playing for a short while on the frozen water lake, we headed to San Vito di Cadorre, another pretty town in the Dolomites where we ate our lunch. We have just finished eating our lunch, now we are going to pass one of the most scenic road drives in the Dolomites. Basically, we are gonna go for, from Cortina d'Ampezzo until Paso Giao, and then from Paso Giao we are gonna be heading to Colles. Turn right onto Via Pia, F1. To where? To Colle Santa Lucia. The way through the windy road to Paso Giao is unquestionably one of the best road trips we've had so far, and we will forever remember it. The roads will surprise you with twisty bends, ups and downs, and constant astounding views of the Dolomites. On the top of Mountain Pass, the landscape beauty drove us to pull over to appreciate even better. I was utterly dumbfounded by the endless rows of striking mountains. No words came out from my lips, but tears fell from my eyes. I wish we could have stayed there longer, but we had to see other places before sunset. to stop on the side of the road to film this colorful scene. Colle Santa Lucia is a captivating town surrounded by mountains including Monte Pelmo, one of the main peaks of the Dolomites. The fall colors transformed these alpine landscapes in live, vibrant paintings. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
guru 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 Today we have indulged ourselves with stunning views even by just driving on the road it was really amazing there's no beautiful sunset today but with this view it's already very worth it to come here Now we are with our friend Massimo We've been traveling with um, him and another friend um, for a few days now. So he brought with us some local foods from Parma, where he is originally from. Would you please explain to us what you've brought with us? Ciao a tutti! Per la cena di questa sera abbiamo pensato, ho pensato di portare da Parma qualcosa. Siamo eh, in questo momento in Veneto, nel Cadore. Però eh, ho detto, eh, portiamo qualcosa anche da Parma. Allora alcune specialità della mia zona, che sono il culatello, che è una parte pareggiata del prosciutto di Parma. Eh, questo è il culatello di Zibello, esattamente. Poi ho pensato di portare del formaggio, che è parmigiano reggiano, 30 mesi. Non volevo esagerare con la stagionatura, eh, andando su un 36 mesi, perché non sapevo se Rain apprezzasse o meno eh, più stagionatura. Normalmente 30 mesi è il giusto equilibrio. E poi qui abbiamo una cosa particolare. Questa è un qualcosa che si mangia solo dalle mie parti, è una specie di salame, ma è un salame fatto con carne di culatello e si chiama strolvino. È molto caratteristico, dunque una carne molto fine. È caratteristico il nome. Il nome strolvino deriva da astrologo perché era la prima, il primo salume che veniva mangiato dopo che era stato eh, ucciso il maiale, prodotto tutti i salumi, il primo a essere mangiato come tipo di salume era questo e se questo eh, era buono vuol dire che anche tutto il resto era eh, buono e di conseguenza si poteva mangiare tranquillamente. Dunque stasera noi andremo con salume e formaggio delle mie parti accompagnato da un vino piemontese e, e vediamo di di assaporare qualcosa di, di buono tutti insieme. Grazie mille. Grazie a voi. <ride> to end our absolutely perfect day, we had dinner with our Italian friends and enjoyed the delicious foods that Massimo brought from Parma. It was a lovely evening filled with laughter and sharing stories with each other. Stay tuned for our next travel video because we will show you some of the most incredible places to visit in the Dolomites. We also stayed in Cortina d'Ampezzo and had the privilege to meet a very kind couple, Enrica and Mario. Mario Di Bona is one of the best mountain climbers in Italy and have climbed some of the highest and hardest mountains in the world, including the Mount Everest. I had the opportunity to be taught by Mario in the best mountain climbing facility in Italy. Thanks for watching. We would really appreciate if you help grow our YouTube channel by liking this video and subscribing. We're hoping to create more and better travel content this year. Wishing you all a happy 2022. And don't forget to keep exploring, rain or shine.